Moon in Leo. Moons in Leo are kings and queens at heart. So what is the moon? The moon is our true self. This could be the person that you are at the depths of everything underneath. The sun sign is what most people will see you as at work, but the moon sign goes much further than that. In past lives, this was how you emotionally reacted to situations, and you still do. Surprise! And what is Leo? Well, Leo rules creativity, children, romantic love, and playtime. So when you put those two together, you have someone who is very popular with their friends and family. They see their friends and family as their pride, their pack. They are there to take care of them, to nurture them, to entertain them, and they're always fun to be around. These people are very open, emotionally honest, and passionate. They need a lot of love, but they're willing to give even more love back. It seems to be never in short supply. They're some of the funnest people to be around when you are close to them. They're not necessarily the type of person who's gonna be the life of a party for a social situation with a bunch of random people, but inside of the family unit, this is the person that's like the glue, the fun, the optimistic spirit. They have a very personal connection with everyone that they love. Being a Leo, they know what's important and special about themselves, which also means they know what's important and special about you which is why they are some of the best gift givers. They just know those little things about you that make you you. They can be very dramatic. They like to laugh and laugh loud. Laughter is really big for them, but just like laughter, the flip side of that is having a temper. Every fire sign is prone to exaggerated behaviors if they are not feeling loved or accepted. Authenticity, this is a big word for them. They can tell if you're not being authentic. Like if you have a laugh, ha 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 that's phony, they'll see right through you. They know fun, they know emotion. This is one of the reasons why they love children and animals because there's that authenticity that you can't really get from grown-ups. They don't like the fakery. They want you to be your true self and the weirder, the better, just be yourself. Leo moons are important to the world because they let us know that it is great to be ourselves. Not only great, but necessary. That all of us have something unique to add. That our differences make us special. Being a fire sign, they're inspiring to other people. They also bring strength to other people. Fire signs are courageous. Emotionally, they're very courageous people. They're willing to just dive in there, get their hands dirty. They just don't want to sit on the sidelines and talk about a problem. They want to get in there and they want to fix it. So with their loved ones, if their loved ones are going through something like a struggle, something difficult, this is the type of person that's going to reach in there and really try to help that person. A Leo moon sign, you guys are also fixed signs. So emotionally you're consistent and that can be very soothing to be around but it can also be seen as stubborn, depending on how you look at it. Sometimes a Leo moon can be emotionally stubborn. They're not willing to necessarily take someone else's advice, but they'll definitely give you advice. They love to put on a good show. This will be like a holiday get together or like the family hasn't seen each other in a while. They wanna give that extra sparkle to everything and make sure there's something very memorable about that time together. And they do like to be the center of attention, but they also like other people to get involved and to play with them. Because they are the kings and queens of playtime, they also have a really great sense of humor. Their timing is impeccable. But they could be even a shy person. If they're a son that is like a Pisces and then they have a Leo moon, they could be the type of person where at work they are more shy and reserved and then at home with their friends and family, they are the life of the party. They are the comedian. So a Leo, because they see themselves as like a king or queen, they take on a role of leadership. If something isn't going well to their liking, to their standards, then they're most likely to take a leadership role to get the ball going. They really do have a lot of energy to spare. If you are in love with a Leo moon, some words of advice. It's the two Ps, praise and pamper. If you do those two things, you should be okay. Remember, they have a lot of love to give, but they're gonna require just as much in return. If you're looking for someone who really just gets in there and like loves you to death, this is probably your perfect match. Remember, they're the most generous of the moon signs, but in their world, that's how everyone should be. They're not just giving and expect nothing in return, like this is some kind of charity project. Wouldn't that be nice? No, they expect that this love, this great romantic love, is gonna be this beautiful dream world that is gonna take you both to new heights. So if that sounds like too much, 
step away. A Leo also puts so much into their friends and family that their loyalty is very strong. That personal connection is a double-edged sword. They put so much into you, they put you on a pedestal. If you don't also reciprocate that, then you betray their loyalty. If they feel that they've been wronged by you, not a good position to be in. They are fighters, they are champions, they are warriors, they're courageous. So one thing about you champions is that you guys have so much energy and love to give that often you become sort of champions of the underdog or you'll have a special issue that's close to your heart and you will really champion it, not just in words and all of that, but in your day-to-day -day life and you don't necessarily want people to praise you for that, you just believe that it's the right thing to do. So one of my favorite people in the whole world is a Leo Moon. She has cared for probably thousands of children at this point in ways that their parents weren't able to. They have gone on to learn from her and take that through their lives. Even though Leos are seen as prideful and that kind of thing, a Leo Moon, their pride is close to their heart. So they don't really want it to be blared out there in loudspeakers. They want their friends and family, people that are really close to them, to think highly of them. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, it's okay if all of their work just goes like under the surface, that's okay. Because the Leo moon mainly just cares about what their pack thinks of them, because they're like the lion. So that's your guys' superhero power, your courage, that inexhaustible source of emotional energy that you have. I think this comes from a really deep ingrained optimism and childlike wonder about the world, which keeps you youthful and eager and excited about the next day. It's kind of a bit like the character Elf, someone who you just really can't knock him. Nope, just join him. All right, Leo Moons, next we have Moon and Virgo.